Destiny servers in mind. This adventure has begun. It's awesome to have you here. So there are many different compartments, places where we'll be talking to people about the game, places where we'll be taking their questions and just telling the story of how we developed this game and what our vision is for this shared world where everybody's going to come together and experience heart-pounding action. Morning. Morning. How are we feeling? Good. Good. Fabulous. Oh, you're, you're fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> I didn't get makeup yet. Did you? <laughs> we got it. Oh, you're perfect. Good. Thanks. <laughs> We lovingly refer to this enormous installation as the Ronut. Why the Ronut? Because it's a rotunda in the shape of a donut. These are the silly terms that you come up with when you're crunching on something as big as E3. What this is intended to do is to draw people into our midst so that we can seduce them with the beauty on display in the Destiny universe. Speaking of which, this actually depicts the arrival of the Traveler into our solar system for the first time to sow its magic across all of our civilizations. Refresh my memory, is a number two a margarita or a skinny mojito? <laughs> I actually hear people say, I want to get back into those comfy chairs. Because <laughs> those chairs we sit in are nice. They are. They are Having a subwoofer underneath is nice too. It's like, a, yep. it's like a sharper image massage chair. Player four gets a massage every time. It's great. Destiny swag inbound. Destiny swag inbound. I wanted to see if we could bring you along and just give you a sense of this craziness to make sure that you had a chance to fully understand what it's like to introduce Destiny to the world. We'll keep videotaping tomorrow. We'll let you know everything that goes on. We'll talk again soon. It's amazing every single time. Actually, I'm trying to get in and play as much as I possibly can, and people won't give up their seats. Yep. So what keeps you going? The crowds. Pretty motivational. I mean, all the long hours when we're there till 2.30 in the morning, you know it's worth it. Who is this? What's your operating number? No, we're, we're good. Uh, uh, how are you? Imperial troops have entered the base. Imperial troops have entered the... <laughs> Am I going to get in trouble for that? So I'm checking out the Bungie mobile application, looking at the Destiny form, looking over all of this feedback that I'm missing. I've been running around this booth all day long. I've been in the theater demonstrating the game for new people, 50 gamers at a time. Uh, I've been in the press corps room talking to journalists who are going to write their own story about what we're creating here. I miss you guys. I wish I could read all these topics. I wish I could answer your questions. I wish I could mix it up with you the way we always do, but that'll happen next week. Instead, I wanted to see if we could bring you along and just give you a sense of this craziness that is E3. Since E3, in terms of just becoming more elaborate, uh, more expansive, um, you know, Destiny's still in a pre-alpha state. The tone that we're setting amidst that bleak backdrop is one of hope, and one of bravery, and one of heroism in the face of incredible danger. It's got heart-pounding action at every turn, but the game is very much about exploration. Uh, it's an expansive world. It's larger than anything we've ever built before. So on a weekly basis, I can download a new build, and I can see new elements that go into the game. I can see new environments that have come online in the game. We want to create a cinematic experience. 
you know, the gear that you wear will imbue you with certain skills, certain combat efficiencies. The weapons that you wield will definitely be indicative of your fighting style. Are there sort of different roles when you're grouping up, when you're teaming up and playing through the, uh, the uh, storyline? Yeah, actually, um, when you see the uh, live gameplay demo that we have here at Gamescom, the Hunter, you have the Titan, and you have the Warlock. Uh, they each wield the incredible power that is available to players of Destiny in different ways. This stage in the game, you know, in our exploration of this new universe together, what I would say is that the game is more fun when you play it with your friends, so we're not going to prevent you from doing that. Usually the class-specific elements of Destiny are like the way that you'll wield the Traveler's power to defeat your enemies. But job number one is to satisfy you, to create a game with a distinct beginning, middle, and end, yeah, uh, something that can stand on its own two feet. I played Destiny and it was awesome. Hello, welcome to our stream. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Welcome to our live reveal of the Prison of Elders, Trials of Osiris, The Reef in the House of Wolves, Destiny the Taken King, the April update to reveal Age of Triumph, to a new creation that we're calling Court of Oryx. And we're coming to you live in front of a studio audience. <laughs> I know what you're thinking right now. We get a Gallarhorn? Oh no, yeah, okay, I figured it out. Our Thunderlord experimental power source overloaded our electrical grid. My personal favorite class in the game, Kevin. Show us that <laughs> warlock. <laughs> so we have, an, we have a third tier. I'm sorry, no, 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 I think, three. I think we can I'm really sorry. Tier three? Tier three. No. no, tier three. I promised some very specific people on Bungie.net. No, no, you might no, no. No spoiler. Raids are mysteries. That yeah, entire yeah. team would come downstairs right now and, and just the, beat the crap out of us. The door's us. locked, though, right? Yeah, no, I'm yeah. Not lock the door and talk about the raid. Uh, but Let's I'm going to talk about it. So I'm going to be the fun police right now. <laughs> I'm going to step in and I'm going to say there will be no tier three today. There's like barely anybody watching. I can I can feel you tense right now. No, no, yeah. no, I'm, I'm no, it's fine. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm We're not at all shaky. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> We're fine. I guess she's going to help us judge the fashion show? Or yes. she's just going to walk away? Yeah, we're conducting some official business here. So if you could just go about your way. This is my, this is my medal that I awarded to myself for being the grand champion of the Sparrow Racing League. That's what <laughs> happens when you control the content management systems that we would use to make those announcements. So for illustration purposes, you probably want me to accept this allegiance. Yeah, why don't you accept that allegiance? I don't, I don't want, I, 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 just, just for the purposes the of education, down. you know, I'll do anything for science. So, you know, oh, come on. Yes. We're gonna fight. We're gonna win. So how many, come on, we're gonna win. We're gonna do the things. You can change your mind later. How often can I change my mind? You can only change your mind once a week. I'm new monarchy for a whole week for now? a whole week now. So stick it in, stick it out, <laughs> stick it in. <laughs> stick, Whatever, stick it Deed, out. sure. Yeah, sounds good. Pardon me. Um, it's a family program Yeah, here. exactly. <laughs> I'm not the one dropping that over here. Do I get to raise my own wolf pack? You might, but not in not, uh, not, not in, in Rise of Iron. Okay. Yeah, not, yeah, life, yeah. You can you do whatever can, you in life. Want. I can do whatever That's I want. Yeah. I'm with queen dude over here. Well, the uh, the queen, the queen dude, the queen uh, dude, Petra, 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 I call Petra her queen dude. Queen, queen dude, dude. Is fine. yeah, that's yeah. gonna stick now. It's because this is the development environment, I can just uh, sort of, I can do whatever I want. It's and, still painful. Uh, it I, still uh, hurts. Oh, uh, look at this. <laughs> I, I so wish this was Pope Bear. So you want to do? <laughs> queen right? dude is stuck in chat now. Perfect. <laughs> queen dude, queen yes. dude hype. Stop it. Stop <laughs> writing fiction. I'm gonna keep myself planted in this warm, comfy chair with my back against this silky pillow. Time. Is that the raid team knocking at the door yeah, to, get, to get us? Bar the door, bar the door, pile up the furniture in front of the door. Somebody goes to their favorite internet forum and said, I found some bones and it whispered at me about someone named Rahul. And everybody goes, oh, who wants to tell him? You leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> you leave him alone. Yeah. He's got what he's but deserved. He's your kid's help him anymore. Yeah. Was yeah, I, I manicured it just for the reveal stream. Lovely. Just today. I like to look nice for our players. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. the studio will adhere to a grooming standard. If you misplace an exotic or, you my know. My dog steps on my dog controller. dog steps on the controller. For my fiance um, thinks I play too much Destiny well, and vengefully, like, you you don't need this. You don't need this not, light beyond Nemesis. Not get into those, those personal problems. Okay, um, mind blown. Show us the mind blown one more time. Mind blown! I love you, Deej. Oh, I love you too. Focus! Focus! In the interest of showmanship, I demand nothing less of you. 
course, I'm sitting in the comfy Ooh, chair. Exactly. We're <laughs> sitting over here. Yeah, hey. I have a secret crush on Ikora. I do whatever she tells me to do. Yes. Yes, nope, Deej. Nope, nope, nope. No, no, Deej. <laughs> Did I mention I'm a void walker? You do. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. Make your own. Don't wait yeah. for it to drop. Yeah, yeah. Don't beg me personally on Twitter to tell Zer to sell it as if I have that authority. I've done that. And this ship, check it out. This ship has been takenized. Taken aided. Taken aided. Taken aified. Tooken. <laughs> Tooken. It's been, my ship has been tooken. There we go. Tooken ships. Yeah, and check this out. It's back in black. That is sexy. It's like Darth Vader's Ferrari right there. I want it. I want it. It's like saying, I designed Wrigley Field. Really? Can you hit a fastball? <laughs> Shut up. Yep, yep, that's exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And I, I'm upset that you would disagree with me. No, never. <laughs> You're a member of my community. That is all for now. Thank you again so much for watching. Uh, I'm Deej from Bungie. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you, to visit with us on our channel, and to meet the hardworking, talented people that actually make your video games. It's been my pleasure to be your host. Just maybe on a long enough timeline, we'll see you high atop Fellwinter Peak. We'll see you again real soon, and we thank you so much for joining us today. That's it. We're out. Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for the second in a series of three live streams dedicated to Curse of Osiris for Warmind, the second expansion to Destiny 2. Here to take a look at Season of Dawn. Today we are here to build a better monster killing machine. And whether you're watching us from Twitch or YouTube, welcome to Bungie TV. You don't like bro talk? <laughs> I, thought, I thought we'd keep the bro talk, as you just <laughs> said, to a dull roar. Activity. Um, one of the, uh, I think the most <laughs> desirable one. Uh, don't, oh, wait, the, don't wave oh, at the boss. That, that's, a, that's a high value target that's messing with them okay, right now. Okay. So, and for that, we take you live here. to Mercury. And, oh, it's a sparrow. It is. Sparrows on Mercury. Uh, hi. How you doing? What do you want now? I want to know what you do at Bungie. That's really what a community manager should do. Lead by example. Here, allow me to uh, refill you. Here we go. Hold them up. Hold them up. And very opposing aesthetics between a warlock that is consuming grenades to have a helper buddy and a hunter that just wants to throw them everywhere so that they can disappear and, and wreak yeah, havoc. In celebration, I'm not gonna spill anything. Here you go, here you go. <laughs> very careful. Uh, so you are witnessing the largest, uh, most elaborate public event, most rewarding public event, we will mm -hmm. see later, uh, that we've ever created for Destiny or Destiny 2. New PvP maps. Yep, we got Rusted Lands coming back. Rusted yeah. Lands is coming back. Yep. So, you know, for, for every type of player of Destiny you're already... <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm ready. I play poorly and slow. <laughs> I mostly use grenade launchers. Yeah, I'm a support player. I love my rift. <laughs> yeah. And everybody gets a little gun buddy over their shoulder. Yeah, that's, that's the way I play. Yeah, you've heard the community feedback that maybe Destiny 2 isn't hard enough. Yes, we've heard that. We heard this it. is your Very answer to that it. feedback. Yep. Yeah, this is okay. one of our answers. Okay, one, just one of our answers. And they are, in fact, heroic. Now, let's check this out. Mm. I promised before that this was the most rewarding public event. And there we have it. We have two chests. It's not, it's not a bad doubles. doubles, right? Do you have a better doubles? Um, I think I might have a better doubles. That's a good question. I might. This feels rehearsed. <laughs> Actually, it's not. It's not. We did not rehearse that joke in a Doing it live. <laughs> and uh, check out those sweet, sweet moves. <laughs> yeah. <Can> we, <laughs> this we have, whether we wanted it, whether we wanted it or not. Whether we wanted it or not. Showing and telling. And uh, I'm seeing things hidden under bridges that I'm not gonna talk about, so. Let's take a look at every single reality that is possible in this universe. Yes. And then let's take the steps we need to take in order to get to the one we like the best. Yes. Right. God, I just so want that in my life. You can have it, Chris of Osiris. You can it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, we talked about this in the TWAB a little bit ago, but Skyburner's Oath had, sorry. I'm kidding, I'm, sorry. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, an, it's an inside joke, it's an inside joke. <laughs> The sundial, it probably uh, has some design flaws. Well, Cyrus, you know, he was just it's a feature. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, yeah. yeah, there they go. <laughs> yeah. And some timelines they die, and some timelines they make it. Oh, we got bad guys. Oop. Weapons of light, baby, says Mastermind. Yeah. No secrets to be kept from this community. That's true. The, oh, and just for, for the whole game, the first thing we did. <laughs> was, Watch uh, the taunts. I play Hunter. 
Oh yeah, are we playing favorites now? <laughs> well then, we have to have another warlock. I'm all the warlock you need today. <laughs> so, he's got the high ground etiquette. Uh, we agreed, no prequel memes on stream. <laughs> We agreed. I was like, you didn't come to the yeah, yeah, No prequel so memes on street. Yeah. So, uh, which mods make your sparrow faster? <laughs> uh, alas. That's, that's alas. Quite, alas. Quest, question yeah. answered. This is usually how I enjoy PvP through the through the grace of my fire team. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, there it is. Uh, so, you get a kill with Drang. It automatically. Oh, you're just so bored with yourself. <laughs> you're just so awesome. You're so bored with yourself. All right, you have uh, boss melting mods, so show goodness. We just showed it. That's as far as we're going to go with all this today. So uh, I'm Deej from Bungie. Uh, it's been our pleasure to talk to you today. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having us. Master Thanks. level thesis. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you play Warmind. Thanks to all of the developers who played the new activity or talked about their work sitting in the hot seats. That's all we have to say today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm Deej from Bungie. It's been my pleasure to host today and we'll begin this conversation again soon. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Great to have you on stream. Show's over. Another week, boys, and another twab. This week at Bungie, Deej wrote something in the twab which we can read. Uh, one last time, when the business of the weekly ritual is done, the author usually closes on a personal note, so gather around and let me tell you a story. Oh, story time. Deej, the community manager at Bungie, uh, probably the first face that many of us met. A community manager so ubiquitous with the title. Whenever I hear community manager, he is always the first person to come to mind. One of the three community managers, Deej, is actually going to be leaving Bungie. He's a great guy. I've met him many times in person. I really have nothing but respect for this guy. Of course, Deej is the super well-known, long-running community manager, and will most certainly be sincerely missed. He's the one that, well, basically found me and kind of gave me my shot. They did a community focus on me back in 2014. You know, when you think of Destiny, you like Deej. It's Deej all the way. You know, it's a sad day in gaming because Deej was one of these figures who was just, he was Destiny. And when I think of the, the community or the face of the community I'm Bungie's in, I, I definitely see Deej. Uh, you know, big shout out to Deej for what he's done for Destiny. He's done a lot, man. One of the kindest human beings I've ever met in my entire life uh, is going to be leaving Bungie on November 6th. We love Deej. Hashtag we love Deej. He's been a huge part of Bungie and a huge part of the PR for Destiny for such a long time. When you saw him in interviews and anywhere else, you'd point at him and say, that's the Destiny dude. But guys, I would say wish him well. Deej, good luck to you with whatever you're going to be doing, man. Always enjoy the conversations with you, the professionalism, the incredible theatrics you always put into your dialogues. And so as a community, we all want to wish Deej all the best of luck with whatever comes next. All of us, myself included, owe Deej a, a gigantic thank you for all of the work that he has done. And go send that man some love on social media for the amazing work that he has done being a liaison, a face for the company, for almost 10 years. Uh, yeah, hashtag thank you, Deej. But I think seriously, thank like you, number Deej. 15. Uh, it's so another but love. We'll miss you, man. I mean, I'm sure you'll still be around. You'll still be hanging around. We're just not going to see you in the Bungie studio as, as much. <laughs> This song called I'm Not Afraid reminds me a lot of Halo. And also, I just loved Sergeant Johnson's legendary speech when he told the Marines, we're going to give them a belly full of lead and let them drown in a pool of their own blood. I just thought that was an awesome speech. And my friend likes it too. But he always beats me in custom games. Once he won 15 to five. I bet you can guess who had the 15 points. The first this live stream in which we reveal new details about Destiny, Rise of Iron. 
or as they say around these parts, Das Erwachen der Eisenen Lords. Uh, I'll get uh, my score from Fuzzle after the show as to uh, whether I pronounced that properly or not. So I hope you enjoyed the new Vidoc. Uh, lots of details for any player of Destiny. Strikes, raids, a new story, rituals, and of course, Crucible. Yes. Private matches. And then all the way in the end, uh, oh, we have... Oh, my baby. Yeah. So uh, Suros has always been our Italian car company of weapon manufacturers. Of course. And this kind of celebrates that. So we've got the gold and black. Uh, beautiful Suros regime. I, I want this for Very that. sweet. I will have it. It will be mine. Elegance amidst brutality. Suros. And benefiting from the recent AR changes. So. So my uh, my entry point into the Bungie community was Halo Combat Evolved. Same for me. Yeah, there are plenty of people in our community or upstairs on the development floor who will tell you old stories about growing up and playing Bungie games on a Mac. There's so, not many of those people, but uh, yeah, compared to the entering through Halo, that was like the main point. So, so the entry point and ha Halo, it's how? Halo Combat Evolved.